King County is a great place to live and work, with people, languages, and cultures from all over the world. Unfortunately, our research shows that where you live, how much you make, and the color of your skin can affect your chances of living well and thriving. That's why King County launched its Equity and Social Justice Initiative to ensure that every resident has a fair shot at success, regardless of race, wealth, or neighborhood. I'm a public health nurse with Healthcare for the Homeless Network in homeless shelters and places that serve homeless people. With the whole effort being that uh, people who are living in suboptimal conditions will have access to some kind of basic hygiene and know-how about how to avoid getting sick. And have you had one before? Uh, last year. Oh, good. No problems with that, right? No. And you're not allergic to eggs, are you? No. We're working with homeless populations who are probably the most disenfranchised people in our county. And that population group is made up of people from various backgrounds and are disproportionately represented in the homeless population. There you go. Good great. for another year. Good, great. Thank you for coming in. Okay. Well. And you can't get any closer to the population than meeting them right where they slept that night or where they're going to have their meal or where they're going in for you know, basic day-to-day -day services like hygiene services or simply to meet with a case manager. It's important to correct the disparities that, that we're looking at. It's important that people have equal access to housing and to um, health care. Yeah. That's it. Oh, great. Not too bad, huh? Every month in King County, new immigrants are officially sworn in as citizens of the United States. And at every session, King County is there to make sure people are registered for one of the most important rights they will ever have. One of the key principles of democracy goes like this. You may not have your way, but you'll always have your say. To make sure that every citizen who's eligible to receive a ballot, that they are given that opportunity. And it's not looking at uh, the color of a person's skin. It's not stereotyping or being biased about a person's viewpoints because equity and social justice is not uh, just for one person to do, but it's something that encompasses all people. I wish you all the very best. This is a community center in White Center, with the emphasis on community. All right, ready, set, go. White Center is one of the most diverse neighborhoods in the county, and this facility and its staff are a great example of how King County strives to be inclusive in every way possible. I've had the chance to work all over the county, and I appreciate every community I've been in. This community just seems to have a, a beautiful world vision about treating each other right, taking care of family, making sure everybody is getting fed, everybody has somewhere safe to go at night. I really enjoy the staff that we have. We're so fortunate with the folks that we have that give up their time to come in and work with the kids. Uh, but beyond all of that, just our general White Center community is very supportive, very giving, um, very happy to have a place to go that's safe. You two ready? On your mark, get set, go. As the chair of the King County Council, I was very uh, happy that we made equity and social justice a key component part uh, of county government. We felt that the government would be much better. Our core commitment as a government is that every person in this county will have the opportunity to fulfill his or her potential.